Uh, my name's James Best. I'm a bridge engineer. Essentially, I'm involved in the design and construction of bridges, small bridges, big bridges, renovation of bridges, bridges of all sorts. I, I grew up in the Bristol area, and one of the uh, features of Bristol, one of the hit local heroes, is Isambard King de Brunel, and uh, I've sort of adopted him as a hero, if I could. And the Clifton Suspension Bridge uh, has always interested me, right from uh, a young age. I remember my grandfather taking me across the bridge and telling me stories about it. And as a result, I think that's probably where my uh, uh, interest started. I like the idea of a bridge being something that was tangible, something that you could point to and demonstrate, but this is what I did, you know, and show off. But also you can see that it's something that clearly helps a community, you know, people want a bridge generally. And uh, I found that was quite, quite uh, appealing. Um, also there's the kudos that goes with the bridge, you know, they are what I would call the, the icing on engineering, although I'm sure some will disagree. I'd have to say I have uh, a an affinity with one particular bridge, and that's the, the second Severn Crossing, which is behind us. And that was the first bridge that I worked on. Uh, I came straight out of university and uh, straight straight onto the, the bridge, which is one of the most technologically challenging bridges in the country at the time. And uh, as a graduate engineer, it was fantastically stimulating. It was, it was great to get straight into the big, big project. Based on the back of that experience, I was given the opportunity to go to site for four years and see the construction of a similar project um, up in Chester. And to see a bridge being constructed from the ground level all the way up um, is amazing. Then from then, I was given the opportunity to go to Hong Kong for three, three and a half years, which of course I took straight away. Um, so on the back of those projects, the, the foundation of engineering was quite good. The technical skills I picked up were quite good. Um, I then I came back to the UK and started working with my current company. And through that, I've started to pick up a bit more management skills as well, some man project management and then team management. There are several turning points, and some of them are significant and milestones, others perhaps on hindsight you realise how significant they were. Um, things like my grandfather taking me to, to view the bridges. They seemed small at the time and were, were a jolly day out, but looking back, they were significant and you could see how they started sowing the seeds. Um, my parents have, have been fairly good role models and they guided me in the career, or assisted me in the careers process. I think the most significant turning point though in my life has to be becoming a father because your whole life changes. <laughs> and that's why we came back from Hong Kong, that's why we've, I've, I've changed my job. So, yeah, so, so some are big points, some are small points. Yeah, career progression is an interesting topic because it changes daily as the opportunities arise. And uh, all I can say is really as opportunities appear, it, if they're appropriate, take them. And that, that's going to be my, my, my attitude. Um, I'd like to see myself progressing further up the management side of things, um, building, building on the experiences I've got so far. Um, I'd like to also to spend a bit more time overseas, hopefully combining the two.